Hi friends, this is Andy from TechStore and in this video I'm going to be showing you the procedure to basically disassemble the HP Pavilion 15 P series of laptop. P as in Parrot. So there is B series also, there is C series so there should not be confusion. This is the Pavilion P series and uh, we have a laptop hands on with us today for that. Now the color might be a silver or a blue or uh, a red actually. So if once opened, this is the way it looks, your laptop. There's a Beats Audio certification. This is a screen basically. Now the top actually the customer has put a sticker. So and this is the base. Just note the base here. This is the way the base is. The sticker here is missing uh, when it was handed over to us by one of the customers. So there will be a sticker here. The colors might be different, but the P series uh, process will be the same. The first thing that we need to do is uh, flip the laptop and uh, remove the battery. So there are these two notches. Uh, this is the unlock and uh, just the spring based notch here. Just open the battery, keep it on one side and you see all these screws over here which have to be removed. All the screws basically have to be removed. Now uh, there is this one screw over here which is hidden under some stickering for many lap most of the laptops. But here we have already removed the uh, stickering. Plus, there are these two screws under this particular panel. So you just need to take a screwdriver and uh, remove this particular. You will see the screw here. Keep it on one side. And another one over here. Alright, so take a star screwdriver and start removing all the screws. Alright, now we need to remove uh, this particular notch over here. basically your arrangement like this which you have to remove keep it here same with this also now there are these two more screws over here as well as here which you have to remove so now I need to remove the DMG drive this open and there are three screws over here one two and three which will be here you need to remove them very thin screwdriver is required and just open it now and start trying the, the base actually this entire part don't just open it there are strip connectors inside which have to be opened so be very sure before opening them you will see some strip connectors over here which needs to be opened as you can see very poor design actually to be precise uh, I don't know why would the company do something like this now there is this keyboard strip connector if you can see over here this keyboard strip connector which you have to remove and the cable comes off then there is a touchpad uh, connector remove it comes out then uh, there is another 
to open it completely. This one power strip connector. And the whole panel is out now. So if anybody wants to replace the keyboard uh, touchpad, uh, this, this is the way to go. You just need to remove it and uh, take another new one and just fit it back. Now coming to the part where hard drive and RAM is stored. This is the motherboard, this is the hard drive. From the hard drive you need to remove this strip connector over here. And very gently, be very careful because the wire here is very very delicate. So just remove it like this and the hard drive comes out. This protective covering, you just take another uh, 2.5 inches SATA uh, laptop hard drive up to 1 terabyte or 2 terabyte and insert it into this particular uh, laptop. You can as well take a HDD bay and uh, add an additional uh, uh, hard drive in the DVD writer. Let us keep it on one side. Now coming to the motherboard part, uh, you have all these strip connectors that have to be removed. That is where the RAM is underneath the motherboard, so it's a pretty bad design again, I would like to mention. This is the speaker connector, so just remove the speaker connector. This is the display connector, just remove the display connector. And then uh, you have these screws, one, two, and uh, three. Yeah, three screws at this point of time which have to be removed. Wi-Fi chip, you need to remove that too. Just remove the Wi-Fi card, the antenna, keep it on the side. And the motherboard is pretty much in your hand now. Another little strip connector which is over here, which is the power connector is here and you get to the RAM here. This is where the RAM is, so it has got two slots. Uh, you can upgrade up to 16 GB RAM to take a DDR3L low voltage memory. Uh, 1600 MHz DDR3 low voltage, 1.3 volts, 4 GB memory and uh, you can just additional 8 plus 8 or 4 plus 4 or however you want to do it. So this is the entire part which is the CPU fan here, so if you want to say remove the CPU fan you need to again remove some of the screws here, I will show you how to do that. One screw over here. And uh, all these screws, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 screws. So one is over here, we we'll remove this first. Two. Three, four, five, five, six, seven. The CPU fan is out. Uh, basically, you can replace the CPU fan, processor fan, and this entire portion, you know, which is actually soldered. Let's see if it comes out. Yeah, it comes out absolutely fine. No problem with that. So basically, this is the CPU coolant, uh, which, which if you want to replace, you can go ahead. As you can see, it's pretty dirty out here, so we have to clean out the mess and do it.
so this video basically showed you how to disassemble the base of the HP Pavilion P series laptop. Uh, we have basically replaced the motherboard, hard drive, RAM, the entire keyboard and touchpad area which were integrated, and also the touchpad, uh, the base. If somebody's base has gone bad, the hinges, everything basically. Apart from the LCD LED display screen, everything else has been shown to uh, be replaced. Hope you like the video. Do listen to suggestions and comments and do not forget to subscribe to us. Thank you so much for watching guys.